our boy Nick Adams is in here, producer Nick. Hello. Good morning. So we're going to go back to how long ago did you do this? So I donated some stem cells yes. yep. about, let's see, it was in the spring of 2017. So it's been two years. What, yeah, a little what? over two years now, two and a half years. And there's a long time in there where myself and the person I donated to had to be anonymous to each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of medical hurdles you have to jump through. We both have to agree to speak with each other and release a little bit of medical inf- information. Of course. Um, and so maybe a month or two ago, I got an email from DKMS, the organization I donated through. They gave me his email address. Oh, I just cool. have his email. I found out his name. I don't want to share it right now. I don't know if he wants yeah, to. Yeah, he might be a very but, private person. But of course. I, I know his name. We had only had one email before, and he told me that he had to retire as an art teacher. Um, because of his condition Mm -hmm. and then so I've just been trying I've been wanting to know how he's doing so I sent him an email asking how he's doing and that's all I wanted to know I gave him a few specifics about me but he emailed me back this weekend and so I wanted to share what he wrote me awesome okay yeah what'd he say um so he said uh I'm a little over two years now post transplant and I'm doing great my doctors say if they had a poster I'd be their child (laughs) I have to thank you, my amazing team of doctors, nurses, and the great spirit for my second chance at life. For a year and a half after being discharged, I was in really bad shape. I lost 30 pounds, I was really weak, and I wasn't able to travel, which is my passion. Once I stabilized, regained some strength, my doctors gave me the okay, and there was no stopping me. My wife and I were able to start traveling again. Exciting news, our daughter got married this weekend, and next week we're leaving for a trip out of the country. I'm not totally out of the woods yet. I have a chronic, runny left nostril and a painfully dry eye. Uh, don't worry. All maladies are manageable. It's just pain. So I'm curious. What color is your hair? Before my transplant, it was a brilliant bright silver. Now it's just a blah moose gray. Do you have any allergies? Um, and he said, uh, during my hospitalization, I became uh, interested in stem cells. And so I spent quite a bit of time imagining what those were doing in my body. And those ideas became the focus of a drawing that abstractly depicted my feelings about what is happening inside me. And that one spawned 80 more. And so he sent me several different um, scans of some pictures that he has actually drawn. He's an art teacher. Wow. And so they're extremely detailed. They're small. He said they're three by three, extremely detailed. And he sent it for me. Yeah. They're little, small little tiles. And then he just signed it off. Thanks for everything. And gave me his name. And it was just so cool. I was, for some reason I could not go to sleep Friday night. I just, couldn't go to sleep. I was just laying there. So, of course, picked up my phone and started reading it. And maybe within a minute of me picking up my phone, I got a notification that he sent me an email. Awesome. It was just so crazy. And then yeah. I couldn't go to sleep after that because I was so yeah. excited that yeah. I got a letter. So, I'll send him another one soon. Do you know soon. anything about that with stem cells? Do they acquire any yeah. of your issues? I have no idea. That's I had never heard anything he about that. Or is he just being funny? Maybe yeah. he's trying to be funny, but maybe maybe my it, hair color changed his hair color. Is your left bit. nostril runny? I don't really have, have too bad of allergies no? like that. So okay. How's your dry I, eye? I didn't pass it on. <laughs> my dry eye is fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. So, <laughs> okay. it was just so cool. Are you traveling That's out the awesome. country? That's awesome. Yeah.